Well, it's always good to be 2-0 uh, and o this time of year. I think that uh, Bingham came out and I thought they played pretty hard uh, and competed for most of the day, especially in the, in the fourth quarter. Uh, it was nice for us to uh, uh, you know, be more stingy defensively to keep that four goals allowed where it was on the scoreboard. That was a good thing for our team. And uh, uh, again, nice to, nice to have the W. I think these guys up here played uh, pretty well. I think it took us a little, little, little bit to get going. I, I give their goalie a lot of credit. Uh, he made some very good saves uh, throughout the course of the game. And he's uh, he's a, you know, probably the strong point of their team. I think he did a really good job. So uh, again, to be 2-0 and is a good thing for us. Coach, some criticism after the Colgate game about the defense. That's a way to answer it. What did you see different from the defensive unit today? I really saw a lot more uh, communication. I know that the guys had worked hard uh, all week on that with uh, with Coach Rogers, and I could see it today. We were able to get a you know a number of people in to get some experience there. Uh, but I think mostly it was the talk and the decision making of, of the defense. And I think that uh, you know with Drake having 11 saves, some of them. Uh, in one-on-one -on -one fashion, help you know, help keep that four there. He had made some great individual plays, so I think that was another piece to the puzzle. And how did you guys either have to adjust to the way he played your shots, or like, what did you see in the Binghamton's defense that allowed you guys to kind of chip away and eventually pull, pull away? I think we came out early and we were kind of like hurrying the offense a little bit, just taking the first shot we saw. And once we got our shots, it took us about a quarter to figure out their goalie. But after we settled down and had their goalie figured out, we just started pouring them on. So at the end of the game, you were helped off the field there. Are you OK? Oh, that wasn't me. That was my roommate. Okay. Yeah, so we're not sure yet, but praying for a quick recovery. Yep. Just the offensive balance. Uh, Guys on the team scores stuff about uh, you know, how much fun it's playing an offense like this. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. You know, we've got a lot of depth, so it's pretty much just everybody can take their shots, everybody can make their looks. It's just a matter of playing team ball and making that one more pass to get the easy shot instead of just taking the deeper one or the first shot we see. Coach, you mentioned that you got to see some stuff from some close defenders that haven't got in yet this season. What did you see specifically from guys like Clary and that? I thought Clary did a really good job. His, uh, you know, he was very aware of what was going on. His head was on a swivel. Uh, many times, you know, you get in a game, your first college game of your career, and uh, you tend to ball watch or just focus on your man. And he, he did a good, really good job of being in the team defense. It was good to give him some good experience today. Grant, stepping in for Nick Mellon today, who obviously didn't play, what were your thoughts on how the defense played without him? Um, I mean, like we've been talking about, um, we've been rotating five or six guys to this defense, you know, in all practice, in all sorts of combinations. Um, and it stinks not having Mellon. He's a phenomenal player. But um, like I said, it's not like we're throwing a fresh unit out. And it's not really, you know, I, I got the start today, but it's not really a new face. You know, we've been gelling together for the past few weeks. All over the place with two, two cause turnovers, a couple of goal saving plays. How did you think you played today? I thought I did all right. Um, I'm still getting back into playing pole, and uh, I think I still got a ways to go, though. Yeah, I'm sorry, I, I thought it was three at this ninth game of the game. How, how was Peter? Uh, no, he's not going to be perfect. We don't know. He's going to see the doctor. And, uh, um, you know, but we're concerned for him. Uh, for Drake, what were you seeing um, with their ride today? Uh, yeah, I mean, they had an interesting ride. Uh, it was different from what I saw on film from last week. Uh, they were pressuring me right away, uh, which meant I had to get the ball out quickly, which sort of took away from uh, being a me being able to hit the floaters, uh, like the short sticks early in our clear, which is a lot of what we were doing last week. So uh, part of that was on me. I had to adjust quickly. And uh, I think we missed a couple just because I may have made uh, one or two wrong decisions. But uh, as we kept going, we, we figured that out pretty easily. And uh, it was just two or three passes, get the ball upfield. Um, was more the uh, priority there as we went through. Coach, it seemed like Brett kind of played against number 25 on their team for most of the game. Did he kind of take over as that main coverage guy in place of Nick? Yes. And how do you think he, he did doing that? I thought he did well. You know, he didn't try to do too much. He didn't try to take the ball away from him. He played uh, pretty good, you know, pretty good position. 
and um, he did a nice job in the clears, uh, you know, as far as coming up with the ball and running it out. He's always a threat going from defense to offense, so I thought he played well. Then it kind of... Oh, it, yeah, it kind of seemed like Nick also was running the ball up a few times there. Is that something you think is going to develop in this game? He he has he does that all the time in practice, and he did it a lot in high school. I remember watching him play. So he's uh, he's very quick to push the ball up the field. Drake, 11 saves for you today. And overall, the defense obviously playing better this week. Uh, how much better did you feel about the defensive performance? Holding big ends uh, you know, I thought uh, communication was something we stressed all week, so it's really awesome when we get out there and uh, we're all gelling right away and, and we're talking and we're doing everything that we discussed in the game plan and everything we wanted to improve upon. So, I mean, I couldn't be happier with, with how the guys played in front of me. Uh, you know, they worked hard and we did everything we wanted to. Uh, Coach, question for your men up. You're over to today, um, about 30% of the season. What are your thoughts there of why not? I, you know, when we don't score man up, I'm always disappointed. Um, you know, we have uh, very similar players to what we've had in the past on the man up, and uh, we ha haven't changed the plays. Uh, we kind of know our looks coming in, and uh, one of the plays we ran was the same play that we ran against their, uh, their zone defense when they were all even. So I thought, well, we'll just stay with it. And now they're down a man. We, our looks should be even better. And I think uh, – one of them was uh, shot placement too. We had a couple of shots and we didn't place, we didn't shoot well. We kind of jammed it into the inside, and uh, we should have been more patient with it. Coach, you got a couple of big guys, Brad right? Kennedy and Peter Kirk, who can do a lot and uh, physically and score. Peter scored today. Uh, how about them? Is uh, just forces on the field, and, and how many different facets you could rely on? That yeah, you know, not all are the. Do I think they're good defenders, but uh, they're very capable. Um, bringing the ball up the field and, be, and being a threat on offense. So uh, it's nice to have, uh, you know, a, kind of a dual role where they can, they're can they out there defensively, then they can be uh, and go there under the fa on our end of the field and make something happen. Griffin, um, you know, you, you, you face two teams from upstate New York that, you know, a lot of people thought you would win easily these two games. You pass the test today as well. You go into next weekend. The first tough opponent of the year, Army. Do you feel like this team is gelling, is coming together the way it should at this point in the season, ready for that game? Yeah, definitely. I feel like we don't really look at any games differently. We take every opponent as serious as the next. And I think we've just got a week full of hard work and preparing for Army. And we know what we've got, and they're going to play us hard for 60 minutes, no matter the score. So I think it's just a, fact, or a matter of limiting our turnovers, cleaning up our sticks, and finishing our shots. Coach, the faceoff unit, 21 for 25, and only 21 shots allowed today. How much does that dominance at, at the faceoff pay for when it comes to the defensive end? Yeah, well, I think you're seeing, uh, you know, uh, Coach Donahue has spent a lot of time with the faceoff guys, and they've really come into their own. Uh, I think the wings are helping them out a little bit more last game than this game. I think that uh, the guys came up with the ball themselves and made some pretty good decisions. And I, I think any time we can have – uh, that higher percentage of getting the ball back after a goal is, uh, puts a lot of pressure on the other team's defense. Coach, what did you see from Chase today? Uh, scored the first two, and it was like, oh, give me the ball again. And then he settled in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I thought that he would, uh, you know, having two so early in the game, I thought he'd have a similar uh, production as he did a week ago. And he had a couple other good shots, but the goalie made some good saves on him. But it's nice to see the balance. Well, yeah, I'm just going to follow. You, you mentioned the balance. I think six or seven guys scoring the first half alone, ideally that's how it's supposed to go, right? What was happening today for that? Yeah, I just think that, uh, you know, we had the opportunities, especially with the face-offs, and I think that uh, the guys are all, you know, we don't put people in certain spots on the field. We kind of move them around, and, and they all had, uh, uh, with the way the offense went, we all, all had opportunities. And I, Binghamton played a lot of zone defense, so that's going to give guys in different spots shots. One to, uh, to reach Peter after that goal when he kind of bulldozed the big defender. Um, what did you see from him in that, that moment, and did you say anything to him? Um, yeah, you know, I kind of just saw the same as last week. He's a big guy, so it's going to take an even bigger guy to get in his way and knock him down, and haven't really seen that in this sport yet. <laughs> Two more, uh, Coach, more assists than goals for Scanlon, which is a pretty rare occurrence. What did you see from him as a playmaker today? 
Well, I, I've seen it every day in practice, and he gets a lot of assists in practice. He's, he's a lacrosse player, so he understands the game. Uh, he understands the offense and where uh, you know the other offensive players are within the offense. And uh, we see this all the time in practice. He has a lot of assists in practice. Uh, for Griffin, you were able to get a short stick behind pretty regularly. What was it that uh, was working well with you on offense? Um, I think that they were starting with the short stick already down there on the face-offs. So once we got the ball on the offensive end and we were moving around, the matchups kind of just stayed the same. And it was just a matter of just attacking that. And then after that, we were just getting looks on looks. So I think we just need to start finishing some shots a little bit better. But that will happen as the season goes on. Okay. Thanks. Thanks.